Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. What's Hi guys. Here? Dog. <laughs> We're at the OG's for an early Father's Day and he needs to take a nap, so I'm taking my original Junkin' Buddy. Hi, and we're going garage sailing. So we're gonna go find some garage sales. I think I saw a ton on the way over here. So since Jenny's never been to that other thrift store, I'm gonna take her to the other thrift store so she can see what it's all about. We're almost there. That's what I wanna know. Did you keep your garage clean? No. It's pretty much clean though. It's, it, when it got cold, I did not, I gotta go in there now that it's cooling off again. Uh -huh. Don't ask me how you organize it again. I spent $100 and 49 cents. Um, got some good stuff. Jenny didn't like it there. It was too high priced. Uh, not for resale though. I, I have two dollars. I bought... I bought two books and it cost me $1.60, so I'm fine with that. Yeah, I got some good stuff for resale. So there's a couple really chunky pillar candlesticks that I'm gonna paint white. Those will, those will sell. Those will sell. Guess what else I found? Milk glass base. This one's square. I'm gonna do my vignette on my buffet. It's gonna be so pretty. All right, so I saw garage sale signs on the way down here. Ricky here had a little trouble seeing them. It's been a while since she's gone junking with me. <laughs> so <laughs> she didn't see them, but I saw them. We're gonna go. Found one, but it was a bust. They must have closed, so we gotta keep our eyes open again. Uh, we, I, I bought some stuff. We didn't buy anything. Nothing. I got some good stuff though. I got like a little stool, riser stool. I'm gonna throw some blue paint on that. It'll end up being a riser little step stool and then we're gonna go see if we can find more another one got some glass bag she found it 75 cents boom she did it for me I did and then I got some greenery to pull apart to put on the cutting boards that I was working on so I wanted to have a little color on some of them so I got now I've got lavender and red what are what are those red things cranberries do you think like no, they're just kind of like a berry, like a berry. tree berry, some winter berry. Winter berry. That'd be a cute. I, I think that'd be cute for Christmas to put like the little berries on it. Absolutely. All right. We got good stuff. Jenny's got a bag now. I do. Awesome. And I got a shabby chic lampshade I love. What are you doing, boys? Okay. I was going to say, I'll give you 50 bucks if you take them both out. <laughs> Only 50? Yeah. 50 piece? Yeah, let's turn around. <laughs> <laughs> I can get them. <laughs> I can get them be out of here before they knew it was us. I'll make it look like an accident. All right, we saw one more garage sale on the way here. And we are gonna hit that and then we're gonna go back to the OG and take him to the car show tonight. Is he taking us or are we taking him? We're taking him. Okay. Okay, so we hit our last garage sale and I found this. For Margo. Hey Margo. She's she's hanging out with Papa. But we're going back. We are done for the day. I will do a thrift haul when I get home. You want to show them what you got? Not really. Okay, you won't see what Jenny got. She just got some stuff. I got movies. Yeah, you got like the entire series of heroes. heroes. That's it. That's what all were I got. they? Two bucks a season? No, one was five dollars, one was three, one was two. I paid fifteen dollars. For that, two rugs. Oh my gosh, that's like for one season. I know. That's a good price. Yeah, it is. I didn't say that it wasn't a good price. And you got rugs for I what? I got my kitchen rug, new kitchen, kitchen rugs. They needed a bath, but they're washable. Yeah. We'll soak them. All right, I will do a full haul when we get home because I got way too much stuff to do in the car. Oh, we are home. What an exhausting day. Like in a good way. I have to spend time with the OG and, and then my uncle came over and we went to the boulevard and saw the old cars and yeah. But that was my sister, Jennifer. She is my original Duncan buddy. I mean, she's the one that was always with me. She was the, there the day that I went, I'm going to do this for a business. So she's <laughs> always been by my side, very supportive. Some of you who are on the 100 Project 100 Days Challenge might know her as the Jennifer that was trying to, you know, pump out a, 
a quilt top a day. She was doing it too. Y'all, you know, she was cranking them out. Okay. We're going to go through everything. So the first place we went was to that other thrift store, which she didn't love it there. I love it there. Um, this was actually the first item I picked up. There's two of them. Really chunky, chunky monkey candle holders. And they had them at $4.99 each. And they're nasty dirty. Clearly they've been made from something else because they had friends with them. But they're going to get a white paint job. And maybe what I was thinking was the, a plate, a wooden plate on top of it. This has got to come off. Um, and, you know, to give it more flexibility. But it is a chunky, chunky candle holder. So uh, definitely needs white paint. Lots of white paint. This is the other two that I picked up, and I think these are balusters. I think this is like, I seriously feel like this is part of an old house. These are so heavy. I can't even, <laughs> I can't convey to you how heavy these actually are in person. These will also get a coat of white paint, and I'm thinking I'm going to take this off. I think these are going to come right off. Look, they are. Look at that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's getting a plate. So this is going to become a cake plate stand, white. It's going to get a large wooden plate on the top. And then, we'll, you know, may or may not have a cloche on it in the end. We'll see. But they were just really nice, chunky wood pieces. And wood is expensive now. So for $4.99, I will take the chunky wood pieces. What else did we get? There was so much. This is all garage sale stuff. So I'm not going to go through that quite yet. This is all the glass stuff that I picked up at that other thrift store. That is not. That's for another piece. Jenny was very careful about packing and wrapping, and then she got bent out of shape. You heard her. So I picked these up potentially to go on top of the candle holders that I picked up. And now I think I'm not going to need them. So we will find another way to repurpose these. They were $1.99, so I didn't really give a crap. I'm like, mm, if I can't figure out what I'm going to do with these, I think I will grab these so that I had them on hand. So I got two of those. And then the other milk glass vase I was talking about. This one was $3.99. It's just a nice white bud vase. And this one was just slightly different from the other ones that I got in that it is square. And it's got great fluting on it. Wonderful detail in here. So this is going to get added to my little vignette that I'm going to do on my buffet. I'm going to go put that in my closet area where I have all that. Oh, Jenny saw this and she said, this looks like garbage to me. So she is not a fan of the rest. Um, I have my tetanus shot. I picked up this little Coca-Cola sign. This will sell. It was $4.99. This is going to go directly into the shop. It doesn't even have a hanger on it. I mean, somebody cobbled this together from an old, looks like an old Coca-Cola crate. So that will get a hanger on it and we will make a nice little Coca-Cola shell from that. And then I picked up a couple picture frames just because with Victoria doing the booth. I mean, I always sell picture frames, guys. This is a cute little pink one and it was $2.99 and this is $1.99. I'm going to get four and six. For sure. So those are just easy sells. This is going to be riser, $4.99, solid wood, made in the Philippines. Obviously, they used it as a cutting board. And I'm gonna paint it white. It's gonna be a riser. I might actually put taller feet on it. We'll see. I mean it's already got feet on it, missing one. But I might put taller ones on here. Just to give it a little more. Um, but these risers are always nice to have, like in your booth, in your shop. People like them on their tables. And then I picked this up and I thought Jenny must, I, mean, I could see her face. It was like, this is disgusting. It was $1.99 and I wanted the lavender pieces. So when I put uh, the cutting board out, I want to put a little sprig of something on it. And what I thought was, I want lavender and I didn't have any more lavender sprigs. And then you know what they want for them at Walmart? I mean, it was like $3.99 or something like that for a sprig of lavender. So this is a dollar and I can pull all these little chunky pieces off here and save myself two bucks. And I mean, that wouldn't even do. Anyway, 
I don't even do that much. So I picked this up. It'll just get pulled off of here. It won't be a, a lavender heart. But then this, I don't even know what it is, but it's rusty and it's good and it's, oh yeah, it's going to be fantastic. It's got to get a, a little love. It's got to be a little matte clear on there. Can I help you? Oof, I had to go like find, find all my pieces and parts. So this was $16.99. Wonderful old vintage suitcase. So I grabbed that for sure. That'll end up at Junk Bonanza. Just a great old suitcase. And then also at the thrift store, he had a bunch of the white shutters for $3.99. So I picked up four of them. Um, they're all just slightly different. Slightly different and yet the same. Different thicknesses, different widths. Um, they're nice to lay flat, have flat on the wall and then put wreaths on them. People really like them that way. I really liked this one that had the tall wood part on it because then I could put cup hooks on it in order to actually hang stuff from it. So it's gonna be kind of a backdrop piece in the booth, but then again, not a backdrop piece. It'll still be for sale, but there will It'll be a backdrop piece. There will be somebody probably interested in it. And then this one has actually got that, they're dirty AF, but um, it has the big chunky piece on top, but it is wider than the one you just saw. So like I said, they're all just slightly different. They're all just that much different from the other ones. So, Frankly, taking them out of there was no big deal because nobody was going to put them in their house like that. There's no two matching. They don't match exactly. So it was like, I left them with a bunch that were all, uh, they were all mismatched. So it was fine by me. I didn't think it was a problem. But anyway, then we went garage sailing. I love going garage sailing with my sister. This little stool is going to get a coat of blue and it will be a riser. So it'll be used as a riser. It'll sell, it'll sell, it'll be about 10 bucks. I paid a dollar for it. I'll throw a coat of primer, coat of paint on it and it'll sell for 10 bucks. Always does. And then at the same garage sale, he had this cute little oil lamp. Oil lamps are not as popular as they used to be in our area. They're having a minor resurgence. I don't know if it's like preppers that want them or what, but this was a cute little, it's very light. I don't think it's very old, but it has a look, you know, it's got a good look. It's a good size one. It's a very small one. So, uh, it's nice for me. I don't like carrying the big ones around. They're very heavy. I've got a few. Oh, where else? Oh, and then also at the same garage sale, they have the Vita Vita Vegemin. Uh, sold here, Lucy sign. And my mother-in-law loves Lucy. So if she doesn't have this one and I could not remember if she did or not, then um, it'll go into the booth. But if she has it, she doesn't have it, it'll go to my mother-in-law. Cause she loves Lucy. And then we went to a different garage sale. This young girl who was learning math, the girls, I was, I was teaching them how to do the money math. I got a Dream Big Jot Journal from Target, brand new. This one has the uh, dots in it. And then some cording. This is nice to actually have the braided rope in your supplies in the car to tie things down. If you remember me picking up that dresser and I did not have any cord in the car. And I remember thinking, I need to get some braided rope or something just to keep in the car. And look, it's got its own handy little... I can put it right under the seat and I will always have my, I thought I had ratchet straps that day y'all, but I don't know what happened to my ratchets. I do. I mean, they get, they get moved around from place to place. They get used. So I don't know why they weren't in the car that particular day, but it was like so bummer. We're going to tie it together with a piece of plastic. Glass bake, wonderful little casserole dish, pie plate kind of thing. Is this a pie plate or a casserole dish? I feel like it's a cash little dish. Anyway, Jenny saw it. It was 75 cents. Um, I'm going to get more than 75 cents for it. It's glass bag. Then we went to last garage sale. We went to... Is this the last garage sale? Yeah. A little shabby chic um, shade. 
This was a dollar. Yeah, one dollar for this shade. And it's good. It's it's muted. It's roses. It's perfect. It'll go perfect on just a plain white candlestick. Now, this lady called this a pashmina. This is not a pashmina. Pashminas are made with silk and wool. This is, she called it a scarf. It's not a scarf. It's a throw. It's just a throw, y'all. It's just a throw. It's like a lap blanket. Um, it's warm. It's soft. It's cozy. She had a dollar on it. It will sell in my booth. You throw it over the arm of a chair like that in the booth. You throw six bucks on it, eight bucks on it. And somebody's going to buy it. I don't even know what they charged me for this one. But it was good. It's good. They couldn't have charged me that much. I just like the frame. I think the paper inside of it is just a magazine piece or something. I don't know. It doesn't look like high quality art in there. I just really liked this frame. It's an old vintage iron frame. So I got it. Oh, I almost forgot. I got a little stamper. I got a circle stamp. A circle punch because I have some labels I want to do. I wanted to do circles on it and I don't have a circle punch. So I got a circle punch. That was a dollar. This is the Brothers Karamasa. Just nice to have for staging the booth. Some books that are a little nice to look at on the end. Some classics. It's not particularly old. I would say this is probably, it's like a time life book, isn't it? Hey, look and see what it's from. Uh, 1953. This is a 1953 copy of the Brothers Karamasa. This is a really nice older book. So this is the Literary Digest 1931 Atlas of the World and Gazetteer. Um, this has actually got really nice maps in it and she charged me a dollar for it. And it's, this is going to sell. I mean, it's gorgeous from 1931. Yeah. Look at the colors illustrated maps all the half these countries don't exist anymore the world has changed since 1931 yeah it has not where i'm from though anyway it's a nice leather bound book and like i said it was a dollar so this was a lamp that she had a dollar on and had a hideous shade on it so I actually said to her, do you want to sell the shade for 50 cents to someone else? Because I don't want it. I just want this. I'll give you the dollar. And she goes, well, I can take money off. I'm like, no, just I'll give you the dollar for the base. Because it's a, it's a great little chunky base on it. And get a nice shade for it. I don't even know that I have to paint it. I mean, it's just a nice little turquoise blue. So if I have a nice white shade, it should be fine. Oh, and then you know how I do the bowl fillers. Yeah. So Jenny spotted these. God bless her. They had a nickel a piece on seam binding. So um, I bought it all. And then there were little sewing notions in it and covered buttons. Always nice to have those. I don't need them for my bench project. And then hooks. So these were all a nickel. And then there were white seam binding. I'll end up, they're open, so I'll end up packing them together. And um, like I said, I get like a dollar, two dollars for a package of seam binding. And at a nickel a piece, the entire contents, there were 11 pieces in here. Oh, and she said these were big hooks. Jenny knows about sewing. Um, 55 cents for all of it. All of the pieces that were in there. So I got 11 pieces for five cents a piece. And then she knocked a nickel off because she didn't want to have to give me change for a nickel. So, or for change for a dollar for a nickel. That did make sense. Okay. And then this is uh, the last thing I got there. All of these trays were $2. So one, two, three, four, eight trays, four in the blue, four in the red. These sell. These little picnic trays sell really well. And I usually get about $6 a piece for them. I might sell them because I have the four. I don't typically get sets like this that are in really nice shape. So I will probably sell the sets but they're the gingham picnic trays. People love the gingham. Is that everything I got? Why do I feel like that's not everything? Must be everything. I think it's everything. I really gotta wash some stuff because I am feeling like 
dirt. <laughs> like everything was dirty. And Jenny, the she didn't love that other thrift store. I do for resale because like I can, she thought their prices were too high. Well, that's because she was looking for things for her own home. So she was looking at what would be higher end decor items that I would not pick up to sell. And I'm looking for the junk that I'm going to flip and I don't pay that much for it. So it's all in how you see and what you're looking for. They did have some antique pieces in there that they, I thought they have decent prices on, but they would be my end price. So they would be my retail price on it. And so I don't, I don't buy them unless they're having a sale on that particular color tag. Anyway, that's everything. Don't forget, if you haven't yet, give this video a thumbs up. I always love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I answer all my comments so far so good. I have not, as far as I know, missed any comments. I try not to. I try to engage with you guys. I love to actually talk to you guys and hear what you're finding in your area, what you're selling in your area. So reach out to me. If you want to challenge me to a thrift flip, now I know some of you have already mailed your packages. I'm going to pop up a picture of my P.O. box so you guys can send me um, thrift flips that you want to challenge me to. And you don't have to be nice, but just remember I can't sew. So please don't send me clothing. <laughs> it, won't, it won't help. I'll just go, I don't know, let's glue it to something. <laughs> gonna get some fabric glue and glue it to something because I can't sew but I will do my best with every thrift flip challenge that you guys send me and if you haven't yet gotten one of your happy junkin shirts one of your junkin shirts happy junkin you had me at junkin junkin buddy and super junker and then of course we have the limited time offer of the coffee mug like I said I'm still working on trying to find a seller that can offer that coffee mug to you guys at a better price than the the one place that wanted to charge $17 in shipping. I was like, are you high? $17. To ship a mug? Is it a platinum mug? I don't even know. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, click that button down below. And as always, happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.